asimacademy.org. Free online courses. In this video, we are going to install or configure Telnet client and Telnet server. Telnet is a client server protocol based on reliable connection oriented transport. This protocol is used to establish a connection to TCP port 23, where our Telnet server application is listening. Telnet consists of two components, Telnet client and Telnet server. We are going to configure both of them. Telnet server hosts the remote session for Telnet clients. When Telnet server is running on a computer, user can connect to the server with the Telnet client from a remote computer. So on one machine, we will have a Telnet server. On the other machine, Telnet client. We will use Telnet client to connect to the Telnet server. This way, we can connect to remote computer and send text-based commands. The first thing we need to do is to come to star and type over here, control panel. And click on programs. Then click on turn window features on or off. Then scroll down and check this Telnet client and Telnet server. I already checked those, but you need to check this and click on OK. It will take some time. After that, come to start again and type CMD. Now, to test that our Telnet server and client are configured or started, we need to type Telnet. This is our Telnet client, so it is working. Quit, you have to type quit. When a Telnet client connects to a computer running Telnet server, the remote user is asked to enter a username and password. So we are going to create account for our user that we are going to use with the Telnet server. Then again, you can come to control panel. Click on user accounts. Then click on add or remove user accounts. You can use your administration Trader account or the other account you have, but we are going to create a new one. Click on create a new account and you can give the name of account. I'm gonna give Tom and make it administrator. Then click on create account. Then again, click on Tom, and I'm going to set up my password. Click over here, create a password for Tom. Then you need to enter the password. And confirm the password. And click on create password. Now we have our account Tom created for us. We are going to add this account to our Telnet clients, which is used by Telnet server. We are going to come back to the start and enter services dot msc Also here, we need to make sure that we have started our Telnet services. So you can scroll down here and look for Telnet.
this one. Over here, it says Telnet. Right click on it, go to the properties, and we are going to select manual so it don't start automatically when computer start. So because of security, we are going to do manual and apply. And then we are going to click start. So our Telnet service get started. And we are going to check. First, we are going to look up our IP. We can type IP config. Where it says IPv4, that will be your local IP address. You can copy that. We are just going to test that our server is running. So we are going to start Telnet client. Telnet. And then we, we are going to give the IP address of our Telnet server. They both are on same machine right now. So is it working? So it's, it's asking for our password, username and password is gonna ask for us. We can type Y, it's been yes. We have not added our uh, account that we created Tom to our Telnet clients. We need to add that. So I'm gonna exit from here. us are going open a command prompt as administrator click on run as administrator and we are going to type net local group telnet clients we have to add our admin account to telnet clients group this is command for that and then add then we are going to give our username tom it says it's completed successfully now we are going to log in we are going to start telnet client telnet and then give the same ip now it is asking for a username just click on yes we are going to enter user Tom and the password we selected for Tom. So we are in now. So we are, are connected from our client to a Telnet server. You can run a server on a separate machine and a client on a separate machine. Then you have to give the IP address of your Telnet server and then you can connect with your Telnet client. You need to have an account on the Telnet server and your account should be added to Telnet clients group. You can see our more programming videos on awesomeacademy.org.